Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to create two different types of copper digital papers. Plus I'll show you how to turn them into patterns and styles that you can use in other projects inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. Create a new document. And this document is gonna be 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. 72 resolution for screen, RGB mode, and click Create. We're going to be using two colors here. We have a light color. This lighter color is hex code CF8F70. And then our darker color here is 69443A. So these are the two colors that we're going to be using to create this. I am going to unlock my background and I'm going to uh, fill that with this background color here, the lighter color. Command and delete or control and backspace to fill that up. And we're going to come up to filter, noise, add noise, and our amount is going to be right around 40%. Our distribution is uniform and make sure that monochromatic is checked off, click OK. Once you have this, we're going to go back up to filters. This time we're going to do uh, blur and we're going to come down to motion blur. And this is just going to give us a streaky look. Uh, our angle is zero and our distance is going to be 200 pixels. Click OK. Now I need to stretch this a little bit off the screen because we don't want this area where you can obviously see the transition here. So we're going to stretch this out just so that we can get rid of that. Enter to to accept the changes. Now we're going to add another layer on top of that and this is going to be a gradient layer. So we're going to come over to the gradient here and I have this gradient already created. What I did was I selected this gradient right here, this copper gradient, which is a default on Photoshop. So if you have your default gradients up, this is going to be part of that pack. So I'm going to click on that just so that you see what it looks like originally. Okay, first let me get rid of this one. And I'll just to, in order to get rid of it, I'm just like grabbing it and sliding it all the way and it just disappears. And I'll grab that dark gradient and I'm going to take it all the way across. I'm going to bring this, the very lightest one, to the center right there. And I'm going to grab, make sure this is selected again, and I'm going to create another one from that. And drag it across here. So you should have something that looks like uh, this really dark color a really light color in the middle and then that same dark color on the side. Click OK. Now up here I'm going to use uh, this gradient right here, this reflected gradient. Make sure that's selected. Our mode is normal, opacity is 100%. With your mouse with the cursor right here just click hold down and drag across the screen and you'll get something that looks like this. So with this gradient selected, we're going to change the mode of this layer. Make sure that that layer is selected. We're going to come up here and we're going to change that mode to multiply. And this right here is going to give you your very first brush copper look. We're going to go in and do another one that's kind of like a radial brushed effect. So what we're going to do is turn off both of these layers and we're going to get a new layer in here with that same light background. We're going to go command and delete or Control and backspace to fill that again. Just as we did before, we're going to come into filters and we're going to add some noise. Just as we did before, it's going to be 40%. Uh, noise, uniform, monochromatic, click OK. With that, we're going to come back in here, go back to blur. This time, instead of the uh, motion blur, we're going to choose radial blur. Now in this pop-up menu we want our amount to be 30. Our blur method is going to be spin. The quality we can keep at good. If you want higher quality you can choose best, it's up to you. 
And then here in the blur center, you can kind of drag this around just to dictate where you want that blur to begin or where you want the center of that blur to be. I'm going to just leave this in the center here. Click OK. And this is what we're going to have. Once we have that, I'm going to drag this underneath the gradient layer here. Okay, once we have this, we can turn on our gradient layer. And now you have a brushed copper gradient with the radial effect. I'm going to hold down my Option key on the keyboard or the Alt key, and I'm going to drag this down. So now we have two of those, and then I'm going to grab the two bottoms here. I'm going to turn that on. And then um, grab these two, Command E or Control E to turn that into one. And then the same thing with these two top ones. We're going to do Command E, Control E to merge those. And this top one is our radial. And this bottom one is our just our regular brushed copper. So once you have those created, you can export them up here. If you go to File, Export, and then you can export layers to files. And then just um, tell it where you want it to go. And we're going to just remove the name prefix there. And you can change your file type to P and, or JPEG because this is a very large file. There's no transparency. So it's really, if you want to use it, a PNG image, it's going to be higher quality. But a JPEG is going to work just fine. And, and I have this JPEG set to the maximum quality here. So I'm going to run it. Okay, uh, and it exported all of those correctly. So I have those available for uh, use as a digital paper. I can also create a pattern out of this by making sure that the one I want to create a pattern out of is visible. And then I can come over to Edit, Define Pattern. And I'm going to call this Radial Copper. Click OK. Now I'm going to turn this one off and this one on, the brush copper, and I'm going to go back up here to edit, define pattern, and I'm going to call this brushed copper. Click OK. Now I'm going to put in a new layer here just to show you. I'm going to add some text here and make that much bigger. So now that I've saved these both as patterns, I can double click here and I'll have them available to me in my pattern. So I'm going to click on pattern overlay and you can see they're both down here. This is my brush copper and then this is the radial copper. So I can just grab it and put it in there. Click OK. And now you have that pattern. Maybe add a little drop shadow to this. Darken this up a little bit. Uh, double click on the effects here. Choose a new style and I'm going to call that style copper. Click OK. And now I can do that same thing again. And I'm going to go over to my styles right here. I always miss that. And then I'm going to choose, make sure to accept that change. And then I'm going to choose that and I have my copper style ready to go. So that was creating copper digital papers, patterns, and styles inside of Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and head over to prettywebs.com to check out all of our free and premium resources that we have available in the shop. Until next time, thanks for watching.